Ta-da, I'm live. Make sure I'm not in my own light. Cool, cool, cool. I hope enough people saw my posts that were gonna be going on a little late. Paula knows, what's up Paula, Ellen? Good. Worrying how we're gonna be pouring solo. Hello, everybody. So, right now, in this second, Jeff is working on a piece. So I'm gonna be doing the first pour. What's up, y'all? I have a glass of wine and I'm prepared to solo pour. So, 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 so. I have my computer up over here so I can see what y'all are saying, I hope. I hope I don't get resonant. Oh yeah, you guys can't hear me. Okay, is it better? I hope it's better. What's up everybody? Right, don't you love it? Pam sent us this shirt. It says, sippy sippy y'all. And on the back it says, bananas. Anyways, so I'm going to be yelling at the camera so um, you guys can hear me. And hopefully I can read all your comments. Let me move everything around real quick. Jeff will be joining in when he can, but he's working on that piece, so yeah. I think it's set up. Love the dang shirt, y'all. Right? Isn't it cute? It's all about sippy, sippy. Okay, so Philly Phil challenged me to do a, oh, there's Phil. I, he challenged me to do a, an elements pour, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Artist Food Chocolate, for the earth. I'm gonna use this resin metal by Eli Kim for the water. Oh, their brush is on, sorry. I'm I'll going, turn it off. huh? I'll turn it off. Okay, I'm gonna use Show my shirt. Oh, they can't okay. see it. You gotta get down here with me. <laughs> it says bye. Bye. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. I said bye. Isn't it great? So, Alan says live from Dallas. It's the APD show. Woo! Okay, so for the air, I'm gonna use Snow White by Artisu. Air is light blue. You think I, but it's clouds. I was thinking clouds. Maybe I'll do a light blue, who knows. And for fire, I'm gonna use La Res Sassy Red. So I don't know how these colors and things are gonna work together, but we're gonna find out together. Also, I know I told you guys about Resi Blast in the past. Um, they sent me a new bottle it looks a little like the labeling is different and the consistency seems a little different so we're going to test this tonight and see if it's a good product if it's something that we can use 
in our artwork. Because, you know, I've told you guys in the past that Resi Glass is almost too much trouble than it's worth because the cells grew too big and it just took over and you always had to just sand everything down and do alcohol over it or else you would end up with pits and weird spots. So we're gonna try this new stuff. Hopefully it's better. I have high hopes, we will see. So in order to get the best um, test, I think I'm gonna use their resin. Um, I talked to Aram with Eli Kim last night and he said, nope, today. And he said that the resin that we have is a 30 minute resin before it sets and Sorry, um, Ms. Erica Lee, I should have them on Monday. They'll be shipped out on Tuesday at the latest. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, he said that the resin that I have is a 30 minute set resin and it sets like well after like three hours. And the reason that is, is to reduce the likelihood of dust and hair and just particles getting stuck in the resin. So that's good to know. They also have a resin that has an hour and a half open time. It's called UltraCast. Hopefully I can get my hands on some of that and I'll test it for everybody. Anyways, let's get down to business. If you have a question, please type it out in all caps so that I can make sure I don't miss it. A lot of y'all know the answers to some of these questions, so please feel free to um, answer questions for me if I miss one. What's up, ideas? Kelly, how are y'all? Did all the mothers out there have a good Mother's Day? You know I should be using art resin so that I can give myself enough time to do the artwork and answer questions. However, it's not gonna work out that way, so we're just gonna do it this way. First day on the boat. Are you on a cruise? So for this piece, I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but I'm making about eight ounces. We'll see if that's good enough. Oh, on your own boat? That is not unfortunate. That's awesome. Hey, Amber. Jody, you got your EnviroTex. That's bananas at 50% off. I checked Michael's today and they only had like a 30% off coupon. So I was like, Meh. Hey Judy. What's up Patty? Glowfish, I totally think you should upload your time lapses because your artwork is Bananas, if I do say so myself. It's 
So this resin is thicker, so I'm gonna end up using it for my next geode piece. I think it's great that it sets up within four or five hours. So that means I could do multiple layers in one day. Patty, you're working on a report of baked places. What kind of bake are you talking about? Jan said she needs a sippy sippy shirt. I'm gonna, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Hey B, Bian said I made an ATV pancake with my leftover batter today. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? What's up TJ? What is the price point of this resin? Um, let me get back to you on that. I know that it's the Mastercast is on um, something Amazon. Mastercast is on Amazon, but I can't remember what it was priced at. I'll have to check on that for you. Philly Phil, I would use um, Countertop Epoxy FX for outdoor. It's got a really good UV rating and um, it resists like everything on the earth. So, that's awesome, Jenny. I will definitely check it out. I didn't have time to get on any social media today, really. We did get our bun pan put together, so I'll show y'all that in a minute. Judy is a great <coughs> idea. Thank you to Laura for sending it to us. It will be such a great addition to our studio. I know it will. Um, we don't add a cork bottom to our coasters. We just add these little felt bumpers. Ask me again when I get up and I will show you what those look like. You can use EnviroTags on coasters. I would just... On our ceramic coasters, not on our little coasters. Yeah, I just, you have to be careful because it's not a very high heat rating. Thank you, Amy. Jody got an offer on one of your projects. That's amazing. This is the greatest feeling when other people appreciate your hard work and you sell a piece of artwork. It's very rewarding. How would you compare the viscosity of Mastercast and East Coast? East Coast is very thick, right? I'm almost out of Mastercast. I would say that I think I would say that East Coast is a little bit thicker for sure. Um, I will ask, Jeff, have you seen the documentary just to get a rep? Nope. He has not seen it. Is it on Netflix? Thanks, Diane. How long should the art resin cure on the tile coasters before you do a flood coat with the FX resin? Um, Jenny, you could probably get away with just 12 hours, probably. Oh, I have Amazon Prime. I'll check it out.
So this is by Eli Kim. Artfully Adrian. I'm glad you went with that name. It sounds really good. Mastercast is pricey. I had no idea. The wine glass looks huge. It's not that big of a wine glass. It's definitely a red wine glass, but work with what you got. Misty got her airbrush today. Awesome. Khaleesi, that's a great color challenge. I accept. Blowfish, I have not seen that yet. However, I will talk to Aram about that. Oh, sorry. Denise, I'm sorry. Um, shoot me an email um, with your piece photos and we'll see what we can do to make improvements. Sorry y'all, my computer's loading slow on the comments, so I can't see any right now. I'm sure it's our internet just being dumb. There it goes. Um, Jeff is working on a, a commission painting back there. I'll show you guys what he's into in a little bit. Oh, still in testing? Tanya, I would suggest a harder resin for coasters, something like a... Um, we like to use countertop epoxy FX because it can withstand 500 degrees Fahrenheit, it's bacteria resistant, it's chemical resistant, it resists basically everything. So that is what we use. Y'all, I have to tell you right now, this is my favorite red of any of the reds I've ever used. It doesn't turn orange, and it doesn't turn pink when you put it next to white. It's amazing. It's a true bright red. It's awesome. Janine, I'm not sure. I miss, I miss what you're talking about, Janine. Yes, it is sassy red. Glowfish, I haven't tried fall grizzle yet, but I totally, totally will. One day. This blue looks amazing. I think, oh, the resin for the coasters. Um, we use countertop epoxy FX. Now, since I'm not sure what's going to happen with the resin glass, I'm going to do just a separate little batch of blue for that because 
I don't want to wreck an entire batch just in case it doesn't turn out. Yes, that was Sassy Red by um, Blow Res. It's a red pigment paste. That's my go-to red right now. Um, what else? So I don't know how this resin glass is going to work and I don't want to waste resin or wreck a whole piece. So I'm playing it cautious and only putting the resi blast in a little bit of the blue. I think that's my way of trying to control resi blast. Last time I used it, it was 100% not controllable. So we'll see y'all. Do you like pigment paste over powders? It depends on what look I'm going for. Um, if you want selling, I would definitely recommend um, a pigment paste. It's the easiest way to get that um, design element. Gonna borrow. Mm -hmm. Amy, if you want to use glitter and resin, um, I would use a thicker resin. That way, when you tilt it and pour it and manipulate your piece of art, it doesn't just balloon all the glitter everywhere and just mix into everything. So I would stick to a thicker resin, number one. Number two, I like to use extra fine glitter. You can get recollections at Michael's. It's really good glitter. Art resin is a very good Um, art resin is a very good resin to use. B. Judy said she needs a cute apron to use because she ruins too many shirts with paint. Gotcha. Um, Sherry, you can post to Facebook or Instagram whatever you prefer. What's up, Dan? Uh, yeah, we're going to do a sippy sippy apron. So I'm just using this much of the blue to test this, um, the resi glass. It's about this full. So we're going to see. So the label says it's a single part liquid additive that is dropped into wet and colored pigmented, nope, pigmented resin. It's a polymeric dispersion media that reacts with wet resin to create cells lacing and blooming effects for abstract art. Once dropped in the pigment, resin repels itself outward in concentric circles and drags resin colors to form shapes and cells. Use at least three or four pigment colors, one being white. Apply pigmented resin in layers across and on top of each other to move and maximize the visual effect of cells. You can add to resin cups or on top of artwork. Damn it. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, I dropped, um, I dropped the uh, something. So I did three drops 
And I'm using not that much because I don't want it to take over. And it's definitely having an effect in this resin. So let's see what we can do. No, it's a bug. No, it's a dead bug. Okay. I'm nervous. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! I have no real design idea on this. I'm just going with the flow, as it were. Kelly, we're finding that out together because I got a, it's new. I think I want to do one with just these colors, the red and brown. Colors look great together. Oh. Ooh, that's sparkly. in this blue for sure. Alright, that's just the regular blue. I'm going to try the the Resi Blast blue on this side. And see if it makes a difference at all. And already I can tell you that is a difference. Join us, won't you? So this is the blue without the Resi Blast in it. And then this is the blue with the Resi Blast in it. You can see it kind of pushing out the blue into the, the red. That's because, oh, you can really see it down here. That's because of this, the dispersion element, because it's kind of silicone-y. So let's see what we can do, how we can work with that. And hopefully it won't leave any hits. I don't see any yet, so that's a good sign. Yeah, Andrea, if you use a lot of Resi Blast, it's impossible for it to cure perfectly smooth just because of the nature of the ingredients in Resi Blast, which is like, um, I guess it's silicone, maybe. 
but the reason why it works like it does is why it's not going to set really smooth if you overuse the resin glass. I probably didn't make enough <clears throat> resin. I am really digging this blue though. No matter how this resi glass turns out, the blue is a gorgeous color. It's got like subtle sparkles in it. I think my elements pour turned more into a patriotic pour. I'm still not sold on resi glass, but I'm super sold on this blue. We'll see how the resi glass ends up setting up. Who knows? You need outside. Um, if you want to, but I don't want to take you away from doing that. Yeah, I think Eli Kim is, well, no, I know for sure Eli Kim is in the UK, but I think they're getting a distributor in the States. 
I'm not sure 100% on that yet. I should have known adding red, white, and blue together would have turned into a patriotic situation. I know, it's like I know. I'm okay with this blue line had the red glass in it, you can see. Yeah. Misty the blue is definitely going to end up on my top favorites list of colors to use. Ideas said hey. probably should have used green for the earth. However, you guys know that I'm not the best with green. In fact, I would probably go so far as to say I'm the worst with green. Camera, no worries. I was 30 minutes late today, too. I think I've come to the end of my working time.
Definitely going to be an awesome resin for uh, geodes. All right, you guys. Here's the thing. I used as little resin blast as recommended, and it still popped up with hits. So. Maybe I should just use less than the recommended dose next time. It also says you could drop resi glass just on it. So let's see, since this is an experiment anyways, let's see. All right, y'all. I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up. And give you some thoughts. So, I didn't even put Resi Blast over here, but because it's in it, and I tilted it so much, it's popping up over here. Let's say you um, spray paint the base a solid color and you drop Resi Blast in it. This would pop up, not white, but as one of those colors. So that would look really interesting. This is what I've experienced in the past with Resi Blast and it's gonna require a second coat for sure. This, these little dudes right here that look like octopus tentacles, which I'm really interested in exploring with Resi Blast right now because of this. Looks pretty neat, but again, they're gonna create divots. Same with these guys. So it's a product that can create neat effects. I think moving forward, if I were to use it, I would use it in this, like just dropping it on top of wet resin rather than mixing it into the resin because you can't control it at all. Um, the blue is bananas and I would definitely, definitely use it in future pieces. Um, I'm gonna to have to do another elements pour because this is now a 4th of July pour. So that's what I think about that. And I'm gonna definitely use this brand of resin to do some geodes for sure. Bleh. This this is what I can't work with. I have no idea. It's too busy for me for sure. It's gonna take it's gonna take another coat. You can see the pits. So so far I can tell you that of the products that Eli Chemist sent me, I'm down with the resin. It's not the longest working resin. It is Mastercast one-to-one. -one. It's about a 30-minute open time, which is not 
that long if you um, are new to resin. I would not. It would be it would be tip, it would be great for just doing a blood coat over coasters or you know smaller pieces that you know that well, I've just been listening. <laughs> Um, Kelly, I will definitely clue y'all in tomorrow to see if it leaves that oily film residue that the old version did have. Um, hey, do you want to see you? No. Yeah, Ashley, I would, I would never, ever. Like, you already cut a good deal for your geodes, which are gorgeous, by the way. So, it's kind of crappy be that she would even bother to ask you to drop your prices so philly phil are you asking why it's going to need a second coat um i know people have no idea what goes into making them however i'm going to post my video shortly on it's gonna need a second coat because it's not gonna leave an even glass-like finish, which is something I really like with resin. Like going over the surface, you can see the dimples, the fish eyes that are left where the resi blast um, is. So I'm gonna have to wash it off and sand it down and do a flood coat. Because that's, oops, that's not a good look. These guys right here. What up, Rick? So, moving forward, I'm going to use this resin for geodes. I'm, what's up, Moo? I'm going to use, that's a fun little guy. I didn't add that. It just popped up. I'm gonna use the Resi Blast for like on top of resin. I don't know that I would mix it into the resin like I did on this one cause it's unpredictable and just pops up like that in places. Um, however, that being said, that may not look that bad on a larger piece. What other products cause cells in resin since Resi Blast sort of sucks? It doesn't suck. It's just not as controlled as I would like. Resin's already hard to control to begin with. So to add Resi Blast factor is a whole nother animal in itself. I like these guys. These are neat to me. And I wouldn't have gotten that effect any other way than Resi Blast. So for using it on top like this, which I don't consider these cells. Maybe I'm the only one, but to me, those, that's not cells. But if you want cells and lacing the easy way, I would go with a pigment paste. I don't know if Eli Kim has pigment paste, but I will ask them. So also, yeah, this would look really good in geodes. So I'm going to continue to use Resi Blast in this fashion selectively. I don't know that I'm ever going to mix it into the resin moving forward like I did in the blue. But I can tell you that the blue is gorgeous. It's one of my new favorite blues. And... What kind of silicone drops do you use to create cells? I don't use silicone to create cells. I use um, pigment paste. So that's what this guy turned out like. Anthony Reed, it may work better in art resin. I have time to do another pour, so we will give it a shot. Thank you. 
Just reload my feed. Huh? My feed cut out. Oh, you're done? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it really... No, not the, like, just the playback. Oh. All right, y'all. So, what colors do I want to use on this one? Um, Patty, it depends on how long your drips have been sitting there. Oh, volume is very low. Sorry, y'all. I'll talk up. I just keep forgetting. Judy, I'll definitely check into that. Kelly, stop with the green. Ocean colors. Purple, teal, magenta, and silver. Okay, let me grab some colors. Be right back. Actually, I'm going to do this. Kelly, I don't think I have an acid green. You're missing a corner. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want it to be solid. Margo, who is handling the artist suit colors in the US? Judy, do you know who's doing that now? Bye A B. Denise Maron has an amazing goal. All right, y'all. I'll get it. You still miss. It's fine. I love gold and money. Who doesn't? All right, so Judy is still the United States person for artist who, if you're interested in any artist who colors like the sassy red, nope, that's the red, like the, um, the bright gold that I used or the white and the brown that I just used, that would be um, Miss Judy. It's blotchy. It's fine. It's just a base coat. I just wanted to give it some color. Tamara, I'm not sure who is the UK person.
Wandering Art, um, Artist Who has an amazing plum color. In fact, it's my favorite of all the plums that I've used so far. B, I think maybe we should do a video where like we list our favorite brands of certain colors. Hey Happy Owl, I just um, did a product test with Resi Blast. I'll show it at the end. Yes, that was in the Peacock piece. What if I want to do pastel mica pigments? You could do that. How do you take pictures of resin? We take ours. Um, at the end of the day when it's like soft lighting outside up to the roof of our building and photograph up there Natural light Did anyone buy the cat in the hat piece? Are you talking about um, the red and blue long one. Marco, the chocolate is a liquid tinter. It's, I'm not sure what the difference is with this and ink, but I'm pretty sure this is more pigmented. It's awesome though. It's super liquid. Whenever I use this gold, I always do like a spot test on areas to make sure that it's dried. Otherwise, when you put resin on it, it'll just leave a weird smear. Not, no, not all my resin, nope, not all of my wine glasses have resin on the stem. I try to only use this one when I'm pouring so that um, I can limit how many wine glasses I ruin. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should wait to do our what's our favorite from each brand till after we do the we try out the color obsession so that we don't have to do two of those videos they don't carry the tents anymore I didn't know that. Thank you, BB.
link, everything for Artisu and um, Lorez under this video. I don't know if they have a Canadian distributor. I have no idea actually, zero idea. Blowfish, that's funny. Everybody's dog reacts when Cujo barks. Hmm. Yes, you can reuse them. When we're done with them, I will take the stir stick that I have and leave it pressed against the side after it sets the next day. Well, sometimes it's two days for art resin. It's two days because it's a softer resin. It takes longer to set up. So you can pull the stir stick out and it'll pull all of the set resin out with it. And then you can take vinegar, I've heard. I've never tried that, but I've heard you can use vinegar. I use um, like a paint thinner or a 90 or above alcohol and you can rinse it out with that. Um, Kelly, he's doing, what are you using right now? Pastels. pastels. He's using pastels and charcoal right now. You're such a good multitasker. I try. Tamara, that's an amazing lens that you got for Jeff and I. Thank you very much. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something about Mastercast. It has a something in it. I can't remember the word but it expels the air bubbles. And it's non-toxic. Better, and it's like apparently super non-toxic. I forgot to mention that, but I did notice that um, Hi, Casey. I have noticed that there are a lot less air bubbles in Mastercast than, say, Art Resin. Tiffany, you can use a paint thinner or a really high alcohol, like 91 or higher, to just wipe out what's left in your bucket. Edward, I think you can just order, order it and have it shipped to you. I, maybe it's just easier for her and cheaper for people you um, to just have it shipped in bulk through Judy. Billy Phil, understood. Lisa, I can find out for you. Idea said he got resin in his mouth today. That sucks, I've had that happen. Sippy, sippy, everybody. How was your business trip? Can you pour right on it or put a primer on it? Judy, are you talking about canvas? Uh, 
Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, for a wood board, I for, we use we use a primer to make sure that no air comes through. Hey, Tammy. I'm glad you feel better, Tammy. Yeah, pneumonia does suck. Um, we definitely prime anything that's wood so that enough wood that that's what she said, but it just works better that way. We don't have to worry about air coming through. But we have poured directly on wood boards before that we didn't prime. Judy, Miss Erica Lee wants to know when you're starting your videos. We're gonna pour with her on video, on camera, on video. We're gonna record our pouring with her. Um, when she gets into her new core house. Um, Janine, we use a polycrylic to, to seal the wood in. It just works best for us. on her surgery. Okay. No, not whorehouse, whorehouse. Judy and her whorehouse. Ooh, what's that? I'm going to do an ocean, but I'm using the gold as the sand color. go with aqua blue and white on a gold canvas because since this video is kind of the most questions I've had really that were similar was um, about cells so I'm going to use ink and an epoxy paste so that people can see what's up. In our experience, the key with cells is to use the right kind of paint, add the right amount of heat, and tilting appropriately. So, here we go. Now, since the white is an epoxy paste, 
it's going to create the cells over these inks. Probably going to have to make more blue. Yeah, our Envirotex Light is a good resin when you're pouring on a budget because you can use the Michael's 50% off coupon. So you can get like 32 ounces for like No, this is a different color palette from earlier. I'm using, let go, Bombay Aqua India Ink, Bombay Blue India Ink, and um, Artisu Snow White. Tamara, that's what he said. That's awesome, Tiffany.
Love that you can't wait to see it. Also, don't show me up, because that's rude. Just kidding. Show me up. You guys, if you're interested in any um, color obsession, hit up Judy. She has an order coming in soon. This is way too busy to be an ocean. However, I'm not upset with the piece at all. Billy Bill, I absolutely will check it out. Samantha, I know. I think I already have got my hair in the resin. I'll just have to get some um, something alcohol. Beyond, are you talking about the FW, the Dollar Roni ink?
miss the troll. Focusing too much, I guess. That's what he said, Billy Phil. Beyond your oceanscapes were not fails. Calm down. Oceans aren't easy. The thing about the thing about resin is you can paint something and it doesn't have to look like anything. But when you say it's gonna be a geode or say it's gonna be an ocean, that's when things get dicey because people know what those things look like. So, Eva, you can use house paint. I haven't personally ventured that far into using house paints, but I know you can. What enough we go. We'll go in a minute. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, Clara, I'm just doing um, two inks and an epoxy paste on this one.
Definitely an improvement from my last. Yeah. Definitely an improvement from my last one. My last ocean one for sure. What do you think? It's a little bit busy, but I'm not upset about it. Oh, look at that. Looks fun. Are you going to do four? I don't know. She's getting me till tomorrow, so that's what makes me happy. So... Get out of the light. Little bit busy, but maybe I'll use this for a demo on how to do a top coat. If it doesn't sell, we'll see. Yes, I'm trying out the square coasters. They're from the same people that did our other ones, the ink. 
Inkfish and Company, I think was the name of it. telling y'all like doing coasters is the best way to use your leftover resin. Yeah, I don't know how you didn't get your cells with um, casting craft. But I will look into it for you and see if I can find a reason why that wouldn't have happened. Did you use heat? I know you said that you couldn't sometimes. Yeah, you're going to have to use the heat for sure. Makes all the difference. Definitely trying this with minimal resin. But I have that resin. Happy y'all, I'll show you that piece in just a second. I'm doing the video solo tonight, just working on a commission piece. So, bear with me.
Yeah, Bianna, you need more than a lighter and a hair dryer. So, coasters, check. I could name them ponds, for sure. This is the piece from earlier. Um, you can't see it that well, unfortunately. This is the piece from yesterday. I haven't even looked at it yet. It's really soft. I think I'm gonna use it as a base coat. I mean, a base painting. Um, the blue was Bombay blue. India ink. Don't mess with it. It's like if Lisa Frank was going to try to do a resin pour. Um, Andrea, just use like a dropper full. Thank you, Angel Heart. How's it going, B? So, Jeff is working on which one ideas? Judy, that's very true. So, the piece Jeff is working on is called, what's it called? First Day. In heaven. First day in heaven. And there's waterfalls and rainbows and Jesus and people and birds. That's his reference down in his hand. No, this is my reference. Us. <laughs> he needed a better... That was too fuzzy, so we needed a better uh, reference. It's just a really... It's somebody else's artwork, so... I thought, why not just do us uh, and we can have a little better reference. Karen said that piece is making me a bit emotional. It's a pretty powerful image, you know? It is a very powerful image. Absolutely, Angel Heart. They're five dollars a piece. That one's gonna be two fifty. Um, that one's gonna be one twenty five, two fifty, five dollars each. I'm sorry you've been struggling with that, Tiffany. So it goes from like a Jesus embrace down to waterfall and rainbows. So he's using pastels on this one. Um, ideas, the ocean one is 125 pastels is 250 Pastels? Yeah, the pastel colors on that pour. Oh <laughs> and the coasters are five each. No, I didn't use pastels. Jeff is using pastels and charcoal.
Yeah, it was a commission piece for Mother's Day. What's up, Anne? Ideas wants to know if there's a medium that you're not amazing at. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's a no. <laughs> Karen's crying, B. You made Karen cry. I'm sorry. That's true, Lynn. Is Jeff working on a canvas? Yes, this one is a canvas. Billy Phil said that drawing is what all our goals should be. I'm sorry, Edward. Well, I mean, it's a robe and also it's supposed to be that waterfall, right? Yeah, it's just that I feel like I'm not curving it around my like, arm. I know, it makes me like Take a deep breath for sure. I feel like if I had lost my mom, this would make me ugly cry a little bit, but. Oh, those posters look great. Thank you, they should be setting nicely. I'm gonna set you guys down for just a second and attempt to get this resin out of my hair. Um, and I did the resin pours, Jeff's working on that. Um, Mother's Day gift right now. Definitely will, Kelly. B, are you gonna do a pour? People were asking. If not, it's fine, I was just wondering. Yeah, I want to, but I really wanna... What colors should I do? He wants to know what colors he should do. Night, Judy. Yeah, I got resin in my hair, so I'm using 91% alcohol to get it out for the most part, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. You see the blue. I don't know if you can see it. So that's fun. It's a good idea, Denise. Idea said, do two blues, a green, and a silver. Karen said plum. Purple, blue, and black. Green, purple, and pink. Judy said scissors work faster. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to end up cutting my hair. Hello, Miss Keys.
Ron said clear on clear. <laughs> Keep the hair. A lot of our strength is in our hair. I agree. Strength, hair, same. Maybe you could do the elements. Night, BB. Well, I'm glad you're here, Miss Keys. Clara, I'd love to see um, the piece that you and your husband did. Philly feels that don't you dare cut your hair. Don't make me walk to Dallas. ID. Donating your hair is awesome. Clara, I will look it up. I haven't been on social media basically in the last two days because I'm trying to get caught up on shipments and get everything together. So Thanks, you guys. I don't know that Jeff's going to end up doing a pour anytime soon, so maybe we'll call it a day on the pours. I don't know if you guys want to stick around and watch this piece come together, or since we started late, people are down to go to bed, but ideas, I would do another one, but I've got to rinse this resin out of my hair before... Where's it at? It's just the tip. Oh. I know, I know, I'm horrible. Night, Karen. Judy, I didn't know they charge people for that. Night, Ron. Have a good evening, Patty. I'm getting busted with that's what she said because I said just the tip of my hair got. Oh, Night, Krista. Night, CJ. Rod, you're late, like you're way late. Rod just jumped in and said, I said I'm late. Night, Mona. So, Rod, earlier I did some coasters. Da, da, da. I did a pour. I did a test on Resi Blast, but it is in there. Difficult to get to. And Jeff is working on um, a Mother's Day piece. He's doing it in pastels. She's letting me bring it tomorrow to the restaurant. That makes me like super happy. Night, happy owl. See you, Terry. See you, Ellen. Yep. 
Yeah, tonight's pores are in the bolt for sure. It is not a piece for his mother. It is a piece for a client, mother. client's mother. Um, we're going to deliver it tomorrow. Okay, Angel Heart, I will check that and respond, Manana. Rod, the Resi Blast did what I thought it would do, and I'm going to have to do a top coat on it. It's not bad, for sure. It's just... It's just extra work. Um, it didn't turn into a bad piece. And it definitely did give me an idea of something I want to do on future artwork um, using Resi Blast. So, it wasn't a bad experiment. Can you resin over what he's doing? You can. We would probably seal it with like a clear matte spray paint first. People get in questions, don't they? They do. <laughs> I love it. Um, we would seal it with a clear matte spray paint because it is pastel, so you can't touch it. Um, and if you were to smear it at all or like rub it, it would smear. So we would seal it with a clear spray paint before adding anything else over it. Sounds good, Paula Wall. Andrea said, Resi Blast is the pits. I see what you did there. Missy says, I love all y'all's work, but what Jeff is doing, I'm gonna say is the most beautiful pick I've ever seen. Thank you. Ideas wants to know if you use a fixative on the pastels or something else. Um, hairspray. <laughs> right now he's using hairspray. Good night, Angel Heart. It would smear the pastels if we didn't seal it in. I'm sure you'll end up doing a beautiful lupus pour. You have till the end of the month, so don't stress about it. Tiffany, thank you so very much. We appreciate it. Kelly says, I'm mesmerized. Hi, Christina. Thank you for tuning in. I love your new picture. It's Darlene, right? What? Darlene. I always choke on, oh my God. I'm gonna definitely set myself up. Okay, I'm just not gonna say it. I can never get it right. What brand of pastels? Hey, Laura. We got the pan put together today, the rack. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, the brand of pastels he's working with is this. Sergeant. Sergeant. They're chalk pastels. Darlene. Regular old chalk. No, your picture on here. With your hand on your chin. Darlene, got it. Please post the final piece when Jeff is done. I will definitely, definitely do that for you guys. Show us your rack. Calm down, Clara. It looks like this. It's got shelving and it's got this zipper enclosure so that it's dust free and amazing. Judy had a brilliant idea to use this. The pans slide out real easy. It's on casters. It's an amazing product. It's just a bed pan, bed pan, bread pan that um, will protect the artwork from getting little hairs and stuff in them. 
Nice racked. Thank you. Thank you. Judy, you have no idea how much I agree. We have the most generous and amazing subscribers. It's literally blown my mind away how amazing everybody is in our ATD fam. I wish I had donuts over there. You look like Igor. He has a friend that dances just like that. <laughs> what did the rack cost? I am not sure at all. What size bra does the rack wear? I'm I'm not sure <laughs> about that either. It looks like it looks like a triple 14 double X. We're at 8.3 thousand subscribers that's bananas Rod says he likes your hat he's got a few like that himself I have quite a few hats Jeff has every hat ever made I'm pretty sure Christina said that's beautiful it touches my soul I know I'm super excited about the class too it's gonna be June 2nd if you guys don't know here in Dallas Texas it's going to be an all-inclusive class. We're going to provide everything you would need to make a beautiful piece of artwork. And whatever you don't use, from the resin to the torch, all of it, all the paints, you can take home with you. It's $200. It's June 2nd and 3rd. Shoot me an email if you're interested at thornton at artiststilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. Rock and roll. Idea said a rat costs about five thousand for double D's. <laughs> Everybody got jokes tonight. Love it. I know. Ann says I really want to talk to you about a commission painting soon, Jeff. Ready? I love the birds. <laughs> the birds look good. Idea said now we have to see Jeff's hat collection. That would take another hour. Denise, I'm super excited about it too. I think I'm done. I don't want to do any more trips. Then I'll just end up messing with that. Y'all need to come to the East Coast. I would love to. What area, Christine, are you in? I think we could probably plan that. Rod said, I saw Jeff on one of your Instagrams. He had a vest on and a hat like that. He cleans up rather well. Um, that he does. One of our first dates was at a wedding and I was like, oh, hey, very nice. Goodness, we have a lot of people on the East Coast. We'll have to make our tour through the East Coast for sure. Christina, that would be amazing. Missy, I will absolutely let you know. By the way, roll tie because 
Um, I used in college. I went to college at Alabama. That's the word I was looking for. Right here. New bucket item. Do a pour in each state. Challenge accepted. ATD worldwide. Worldwide, wide, wide, wide. Idea said you could probably skip Iowa. <laughs> we'll just like drive part of the way in and do a pour just at like a rest state, like the rest stop and then just head on. Andrea said, drive in, pour, get out. I like it. Edward says, I always forget Iowa is even a state. Yes. My sister is stationed in Idaho right now. She's not a fan. That's awesome, Janine. I mean, having to go through that is not awesome, but being a survivor of cancer is super great. Laura said an emotional piece, Jeff. Thank you. Agreed, can't leave before a sippy sippy. Uh, I did it twice. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a second take. I got like halfway through it and I didn't like it, so I painted over it. Oh my God, I cannot believe how much of a wreck this is. Why do I do that to myself? Rick says my daughter has a lot of stripper friends. That's fun. <laughs> Darlene says it's incredible, Jeff. Andrew said, are you even allowed to paint over Jesus? Um, I don't think he had Jesus fully drawn in yet. So since it wasn't like a full Jesus yet, it was probably okay. Yeah, Christina, this is a commission piece. from a client here in Dallas. Actually, I think she lives most of the time in Vegas. Right, B? Well, she, she moved there, yeah, because she needed to get out of trouble. <laughs> Dallas is trouble for her. She moved to Vegas to get she away from the, Vegas, oh, okay. Like, in Vegas. Hi, Leslie. Rod says Iowa's state motto is Iowa, the gateway to Nebraska. Hey, Angela. Does Rod make memes? Because I bet he makes great memes. Jeff wants to know, Rod, if you make memes, because you would make great memes. That's awesome, Miss Keys. Idea said you can paint over Jesus. He is very forgiving. That's true. Okay. That's a wrap. Wow, that looks different on film. Yeah. 
So he is done with this piece. We will deliver it tomorrow. Uh, drivers in Dallas are completely out of control. What's the story behind this painting? This is a commission piece um, that a client requested. It was, what's the name of it? I forgot again. First day in heaven. First day in heaven. So the story is the girl's fresh through the pearly gates and runs and jumps in the arms of Jesus. There are rainbows and waterfalls to signify passing over and happiness. Um, it was supposed to be this painting, but it was someone else's artwork. So Jeff modified it and we did this one so he can get a better idea of the shapes of the fingers and everything. And because he doesn't copy other people's artwork, so. I try not to. So that's this. Laura, I agree. Maybe tomorrow I'll just clean instead of the live. We do this whole damn studio. I agree, Missy. Thank you, Ann. All right, I don't think should be titled Going Home. No, I think it's like a halo. I didn't even notice that rainbow. Um, I don't think Jeff's gonna pour tonight. He's exhausted from this piece. So I will show you guys all of this artwork and how the Resi Blast piece set up tomorrow. These are the coasters. I think Angel Heart called shotgun on those. The piece is gonna be for sale for 125. I think I said this one is 250. Um, if you're interested in anything, shoot me an email, Thornton at artisttilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. If you want info on the class, also shoot, shoot me an email. Um, if you want to see other commission pieces we've done in the past, just visit artiststilldeath.com. Don't forget two T's and two L's. You can see a whole gallery of stuff. Also, our stir sticks are there. If you're interested in those, we should be opening international shipping on those tomorrow. I will also have um, the other stir sticks on order that I can ship out. I'll have those in Monday, ship them out on Tuesday. Thank you so, so much for watching. You guys are so bananas. Your generosity and loyalty to us is completely crazy. It means so much to us. We will see you all tomorrow. So thanks you guys for everything. Bye.